Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We are going to add Mortal Kombat health bars to a video in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, shout out to Montage of Year for this request on how to add the Mortal Kombat style health bars. Now, there's been a huge update in Premiere Pro as far as titles go. I'm going to give you a quick uh, showing of how you do this with the legacy title, and then I'm done with that, because that thing is just a big pile of poo. The new essential graphics and motion graphics templates are much, much better. In fact, you can contain and animate all of these things together in one. Let's go have a look. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out every single point here of where there's some kind of interaction between these two. So I'm going to jump between these. Anytime there's a strike, I just added a marker by tapping the M key. Uh, by the way, what you're looking at is a green screen clip that I shot from Kendo Canada and they were green screened out and the background is actually a three-dimensional real 3D um, object in Cinema 4D. So I brought that uh, into Cinema 4D, I think as a, as a 3D Studio Max file, removed some elements I didn't need in the background. And for this, I mean, I could have left that as an animation, but it is it did require quite a bit of computing power. So that is just a still, a flat still of the background dropped in uh, and color corrected the, uh, the guys in the front a little bit. So that's the first step and then add the markers. And this is really what we're going to create here. We're going to create this kind of, uh, this style of bars that, that uh, move up here on the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do this with the old titler. And to do that, we have to grab an, uh, an, a legacy title. So it's here in the new menu, legacy title. And for this, um, I'm going to do this uh, half the size. So I'll divide this by two. And let's make this um, 200 in height. And I'll call this left bar. And this is scalable, so I'll drag that out. And I don't really care to look at the video because I'm drawing an object in here. And if you wanted just a, a regular uh, rectangular object, you get the rectangle tool and drag that out um, and color that over here. So if I wanted to color that the same kind of uh, green color and then add an outer stroke, make that smaller and change that to a yellow color. So I could do it that way, maybe make this narrower. Uh, I could also, if I wanted that same look that I had over there, um, I could try to draw this with the pen tool. So I'm gonna carefully click, holding the shift key down and getting that little angle on there. Now, when you finish this up, it's going to be a closed bezier. You want to make sure this is a filled bezier. So let's just say that that's the one we want. I'm going to delete that, close this up, and drag that above my clip here. And select it and move it into the top left-hand side. Now, you can't just drag this and, and grow because it's going to do that. You could scale this if you wanted to. So if we go to our motion settings and scale this, not uniform, but I could scale the width. The only problem with that is it starts to change the outside angle. Anytime you scale something horizontally, it's not gonna keep the angle the side and just move that object in. So your choice really is to use the crop effect. So in our effects, crop and change that right value. And as you drag that up, you'll remove that. It gets rid of the line there. You can't have a stroke continue on here and move the line. That's again, another reason why the old titler is just not good. So that's for folks who wanted to use that old titler. Let me get rid of that and I'll show you a much better way to do this. Okay, so this is 
what I've created, and I'll show you how we've made this really simple. First of all, you need to start by creating a graphic object. So in our workspaces, if you choose graphics, and if you don't see this feature, it's time to update. In the edit component or in graphics, you can choose a new layer from a file or over here from a file. And I'm going to do this and bring in the left mask, which is a Photoshop um, layer. There it is. And I'll scale this down. Make 57% is what I had. Drop that in and then add another one from file. And this is the right mask. Same thing as before, 57%. Drop that in. Now there is, if you go down to your button editor and drag this button out, click OK. If you click on this, you'll snap the graphics now. If we drag them up, you can see that we've snapped those graphics into that place. All right, so now we've got our two sides. This is the lighter brown side and the black side. Now we need to draw our bars, and we're all doing that within this graphic element here. So let me drag that all the way out to the end. So all of these are within the same graphic element. So you can see there's the left clip, left mask, and the right mask. So to drag, to draw the other shape, we can drag a rectangle out here. And we'll drag it out to about the middle of this area. And what I like to do, let me zoom in. is get the pen tool and draw another point about here and then draw over this point with the control key on Windows, command on Mac, and that cuts a nice angle for us. Okay, so let's go back to fit that in. Let's choose our colors, green, and then we'll add a stroke. Click on this and make a yellow stroke. Maybe make it three, maybe more. All right. So, unfortunately, we can't uh, easily flip that over to the right hand side. Um, So we can copy that, copy that shape, and then paste. And we've got another one of those shapes in here. And let's zoom into that. So if we were just doing regular rectangle ones, uh, this would be a lot easier. And let's go over to the other side, do the same thing. Add one here. And get rid of that one. Okay, let's go back and fit this in. So that's really the, the hardest part is just getting all of that going. Okay, so now we have our shapes. And it makes sense to name this. 
So that one is over on the right. So I'll rename that right shape and left shape. So if you look at the properties for each one of these shapes, you'll see the appearance, which we don't want to change, but you'll see transform. And we could scale this non-uniform. So here's our horizontal scale. But you see how the left-hand side of that is changing and the line is getting thinner. So that's not really the way that we're going to animate this. So let's close up transform for both of them. And instead, we're going to use the path information. So if we click here, we're going to add a stopwatch. Click on the stopwatch. We've added keyframe. We're changing the shape of that rectangle from the middle out. So each time there's a, a strike, it's going to go from the middle of each one of those shapes. The health bar will, will reduce its size from the middle out. And we're changing the path information. So here's what I've got to do. If you, you The way you want this to work is you want a strike to happen and you want the health bar to, to move. You want to visually see it. You don't want to see it snap. Um, you want to see it change. So Unfortunately, you need two keyframes for every strike. You need to copy the previous keyframe and then add a new keyframe. So let's concentrate, first of all, let me give myself a bit more uh, room here. Let's concentrate on the black opponent here. And as I said, I've marked this out. So he gets struck right there. He gets struck on the head right there. So we're going to make sure our, our timeline is locked into this place. The left shape, that's the first keyframe. So I don't have to move this to the front keyframe. I select the keyframe, copy and paste. So now we have a duplicate keyframe from the beginning to that point, meaning the health bar won't move because he hasn't been hit yet. Now we just need to move ahead a little bit. I'm going to zoom into this area here. So it's not moving. He gets hit and we move ahead a little bit and that's where this changes. So see, notice how my cursor is going to be horizontal and I'll drag that in. It added a new keyframe in here so now when he gets hit Boom, it's down. So I need to find the next place. Who's getting hit here? So both of them are getting hit at this point. So for this, we need to copy the keyframe from the, the first path. So I'll select that path, copy and paste. So now again, just like before, I've got that, uh, that same keyframe. And just like before, we go ahead and I choose the right shape and drag that down. So now he gets hit and it moves down. And you continue this same process. Jump to the next edit point, copy the previous keyframe, move ahead a little bit and change the value. So you end up with this. So here are all the keyframes showing up and each one of the bars moves back further, 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 and further. Now this is just two single rectangles. A lot of times I see these health bars with some sort of a shape in front of it that looks very ornate. So I've done that. I created a shape in Photoshop. Let me just show you that. Here we are in Photoshop. This is one single layer. And if we zoom in, we can see the transparency of the layer. So I've designed this in such a way to have the center portion here as being the bar. So the cool thing about the motion graphics is we can take this graphic the way it is and add that in. So I'll click and add from file. And this is the same Photoshop file here. 
I'm going to leave it as merged layers. There it's dropped it in. I'll change the Y coordinate and drag that up. And now we have this kind of a look where that bar is still showing, but it's showing through the hole in the Photoshop file. So we've got these cool Mortal Kombat bars. And this whole thing, this whole graphic file, that's the graphic file, that one file right here. If I shut everything else off, that's our graphic file right there. You can export that out and save that. So back in the graphics, you can export that as a motion graphics template. And I could put it onto my local drive. I could put it in essential graphics if I wanted. So this is in essential graphics. Click OK. Now when I go to browse, there's my Mortal Kombat. health bars, and all the same keyframes are inside there. So there you go. Let's get some uh, cool health bars going in those videos. Stack as many things as you want. Use as many Photoshop element objects, Illustrator objects too, and drop them in. And uh, you're, you're basically just animating a rectangle um, on the screen. And, and the fact that the new motion graphics, which we're calling Mogarts, are all self-contained in one, um, it makes it so much easier. All right, so there you go. Hopefully you found that informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You want to join us and support us some more? Join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, listening to your requests and making sure you look your best.